What's up my single chats and Call of Duty refugees? How are y'all doing my brothers and sisters and somebody needs to call Biden immediately Okay, stop scratching your balls right now guys. We got an important matter to discuss like this video subscribe if you're brand new Let's go for two likes on the video and first of all we got bread man. I want to expose something many of you are unaware of and it involves the influencer teams within Call of Duty when something is released in the store, the streamers are sent COD points free of charge by the influencer teams, in order yeah, to purchase yeah. the item, so the people that watch them are also encouraged to make a purchase. Yeah, Call of yeah, Duty yeah. points is not like a screenshot, here's me refreshing the page, I just want to look up who this person is, I mean, they're an actor. 2500 Call of Duty points?! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, man, can a brother get like two pennies or something? Y'all suck be giving everybody like Call of Duty points here. Call of Duty points here. Man, everybody that's watching this video, right? Every, anybody and everybody that's gonna smash that like button, Activision, y'all suckers need to give everybody watching this video like $100 immediately for putting themselves on the line and torturing themselves playing your game, bruh. Activision rep, you guys can do your own research. FNE, through and fake work Activision. The streamers, armed with cheat software, will wipe entire teams with flashing weapons and yeah, stupid yeah, looking yeah. costumes, making this irresistible for the Sims. You see, Call of Duty really need you to buy things from the store. Streamers and content creators get them for free. Call yep. of Duty hope yep. you start spending money on woke digital inventory, and in return, the streamers they, will- They want you like buying, they give like free like BBC bundles to the homies. Uh, yeah, 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 Yep, they give all of these suckers free BBC bundles, but they want you buying the BBC bundles with your hard-earned money. Tell you how great everything is. Oh, they just sent Parker 20k with what? I went into my mailbox here this morning and saw that Call of Duty Mobile has went and gifted me uh, a, a mythic, a free mythic uh, sniper here. This is a sniper that unfortunately I already own. So I am very appreciative for this gift, even though yeah. I do own it. Can I, can I, okay, you know what? You're appreciative, and you already got the 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 the, the, the gun, right? Like give the, the give that Call of Duty points to all all of your viewers, my guy. There is also the twenty thousand COD points Damn. that I get alongside this, but yeah, man, huge shout out to COD Mobile for going in and giving me these free items, and I thought that hey, for a video. Why don't we just go and show off that mythic sniper? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Call of Duty really doing that, man. Do you guys care for that or not? I personally don't care for it. I just wish that there were more like events. Like I'm not I'm not mad by the skins. I'm also not like hidden the g-spot either i just wish that there were more events in call of duty warzone though like it's dry as hell like there's nothing going on in call of duty other than these cheaters man like that's the only thing oh shit what you guys think man more events or more of these uh bundles i would go with more events welcome to woke zone and these far left snowflake streamers absolutely love this nonsense <laughs> Dog, like. Don't forget, I also have a second channel called More Call of Shame, which is my Jeez. research channel. Research. This is where I upload small oh, sections shit. to get some early feedback. Okay, so this is where he found finds out about the alien life, though. Yay! If you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't know, man, uh, he's a uh, disgruntled NASA employee. Before it is released on my main channel, many times you have left comments that allowed me to make changes or dive deeper into the issues at hand uh -huh, uh -huh, before releasing uh -huh. on the main channel. Wow. Sometimes the content may Damn, brother be up in the business though. Not feature at all. This is Other business. times it will. So head over to the more call of shame channel and get yeah, involved. Business be uh, booming right now, guys. Everybody, you know, clap it up. Call of shame businesses. <laughs> this is like call of shame second uh, business right now. Holy Activision crap. Activision are not letting this lawsuit drop against cheat developers. Oh, As many good, know, Activision are suing the cheat developer engine owning and filed a lawsuit in which Activision state that high-profile streamers are among the cheaters. The cheat developer, 
cannot afford to keep fighting litigation. Imagine knowing that your your streamers are cheating but sending them Call of Duty points. <laughs> Call of Duty points because you want their viewers to also buy Call of Duty points and the BBC bundles. That's that's just insane though. Activision is probably like, yeah, we know you cheat, but uh, we still need kids to buy the bundle. So we're going to send you free Call of Duty points. Yeah, open them, buy them. Back in the days, it was like opening up supply drops though. You know, Activision would send like keys and Call of Duty points. So Sega's would actually open up supply drops on streams. Yo, that was like a massive meta back in the days though. You guys remember that? How long you guys have been playing Call of Duty? Asian that's based in the US. Activision has made it a complete nightmare for the cheat developers to deal with this in US courts and a huge money pit. Engineoning also complained to a judge, saying it's unfair for a $50 billion company to force them to fight this case in the US when they've also been sued in Germany. Well, the lawyers defending their clients Engineoning have now withdrew from the case and no longer wish to defend them. Bombocat! What? 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 For real though? Okay, that's a that's a GG right there. Everybody, clap it up, man. Everybody, now these seconds need Saul Goodman right now. Two of the defendants, whose names I have retracted from this video, have now settled with Activision, totaling around $3 million. However, nine other defendants, who Activision is actively hunting, filed a motion to dismiss the case, once Activision amended their original complaint to include computer fraud and the abuse act with two additional counts of racketeering that's activision wild. is literally causing all sorts man y'all be settling like three million like a brother cannot even afford a pencil out here though like give give everybody watching this video that three million dollars like y'all has got a budget of three million you know what like divide that by the people the likes on the video right like if this video get 100 likes then you know you give everybody like uh 3 million by uh, divided by 100 you give all of that money to 100 people okay if this video gets a thousand i mean guys do not like that much you know so, like <laughs> okay that's reverse psychology i'm not sure if that's gonna work or not but guys like the video okay like the video like the video sorts of problems for them these additional charges now could include over a decade behind bars in light of these new charges, one of the defendants will now defend himself, and has agreed to open a communication with Activision. With the amount of cheating in Call of Duty, it's... Dear Judge, I am a defendant in the above reference case Activision vs. Engine Owning. I'm running due to inform the court of my intention to represent myself and proceed pro C in this matter. Uh, pro C in this matter, I think it's obvious that I'm representing myself as per, <laughs> uh, per my f uh, previous filing attempt, but I did not find a specific form notice of intent to proceed per, uh, pro C. Uh, so I submit this document via e filing to make my intent clear that I'm representing representing myself from now on. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, also, status report, I am currently in negotiation with the plaintiff and I'm pursuing a settlement with Activision. Damn. Seems Activision are going all out now on the cheat developers. However, good, the court granted an extension last year, so we will await more news. The judge made some remarks for the two defendants. He said, when regular people represent themselves in complex legal battles against rich opposition and then win, people make movies about them. The other cases where most lose? Not so much. Activision dismissed a female defendant from the case, for reasons for that are unknown but since the dismissal is without That's misogynist! Prejudice, Misogyny. Activision has left the door open for further action, if Misogyny. that's ever required. I just thought this was interesting. Toxic masculinity! News. Remember, Activision demand trial by jury, which is huge. However, I believe the cheat developers shouldn't be the scapegoats. Nobody forced cheaters to download cheat software. Facts, facts, The cheaters facts. need to also take responsibility. Facts. I believe they should also be sued. Let me know your thoughts on this. I want to show a quick peek into the disgusting, dirty and creepy world of these Warzone streamers. They can get away with things like this, while sheltered in their little circle. Oh my These god. These Warzone streamers would never make it. Yo, brother got like sister boobas right now. Bruh. The real world. 
Hit it, aim out! Oh! Oh! Man, this is why I always say, uh, guys, like, call Biden, man. Biden needs to cut these suckers' chicken nugget supply, though. Bruh. Damn, son. Like, homie be doing, like, all-you-can-eat sushi, like, 24-7 uh, by the looks of it. Damn, son. But, uh, I mean, like, call of shame. Come on, bro. Like, he's burning some calories right now. Crazy. So it's fine. Go crazy. Go crazy. Yeah, go crazy, bro. Oh, he's going to as well. He's going as well. Oh, oh, Dude, he's going to bring his team to the... Yo, yeah, any of you guys got Clorox bleach, man? Like, watch. Uh, watch. <laughs> Yo, why are you doing that? Oh, my God. What is everyone A few days ago, Yo, it was reported like... that the Call of Duty servers were targeted by a DDoS attack. A DDoS is basically a distributional denial of services. That we know, bro. We know. Come on, man. Like, next, bro. Like, we know. Um, you, how how are you gonna show us that and not talk about DDoS right now, bro? Come on, dog. You literally just. I'm crying right now, though. I'm crying, man. Biden needs to cut these like, chicken nugget supply, and also your chicken nugget supply as well. Call the shame. The servers offline. No more chicken nuggets for you, mother trucker. Simply put, it denies the public of a company's services. Hence the term, DDoS. Well, this supposedly took the skill-based matchmaking offline, by forcing the servers to start up without SBMM. The cheating streamers were struggling, as decent players were now in their games. They were unable to get bot lobbies, they just couldn't understand why they were getting ripped apart. Yeah, yeah, the VPNs yeah. quickly came out. Let me know in the comments, did any of you notice a difference? Is skill-based matchmaking actually protecting these Warzone streamers all along? We all know they all use a VPN, as yeah. Mutex can be seen in this clip, trying to connect to the Persian Gulf, so he can shoot people that don't shoot back. Yeah, and uh, he wanna be able to shoot straight as well, and then he's gonna give you that, uh, what's a radar hack? I don't even know what a radar hack is! Sledgehammer you know? have recently spoke out about skill-based matchmaking, here is what they have officially said. Oh, we know no. there's a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience. Especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more Bull important squash. to us than the experience players have with the game. And matchmaking is a big part of it. We've been working on our matchmaking system for well over 10 years. We yeah! That wrong! wrong. Wrong that these are lies. These are lies. And these things also did say like, you know, a dev came forward and said that uh, skill based management was in Call of Duty 4. Yeah, Modern Warfare. The first one came out in 2007. Uh, and the dev did say that. And I'm like, damn, bro. Okay, okay. You know what? For, for a second, let's believe that. I know you guys are now, bro. Like, come on, man. How are you going to believe that, bro? How are you going to believe that? Now, I, I, I hear you. I agree with you. I don't believe that. But for, you know, hypothetically, okay? For a second, let's just say we believe that bullshies that skill based matchmaking was in Call of Duty 4. Dog, if it was, we did not felt like there was, you know, so I would say that was a good system. Okay, yeah, if you guys had skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty 4, can a brother perhaps get that system back in the new Call of Duty games? I rather Call of Duty 4 skill based matching and then Call of Duty 2019-2022 and uh, this modern uh, Chronos Warfare 3 skill based matching and bruh. We continue to spend a ton of time like the video and energy on improving the matchmaking process. This involves people working in our Call of Duty studios, our backend services teams of Demonware, and other groups like our player insights team. Yeah, that's right. It's a Demon large Ware. effort that we've worked on for many years and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill, along with many other factors, to try to find the best match experience for you. Yeah, many, uh, many different factors. That is, uh, you know, you play five games and these suckers know the size of your dong, whether you got a BBC or a BWC or LBC uh, or LWC, you feel what I'm saying? These suckers know everything. You play five games, they know if you're going to be able to continue a, continue a bloodline or not, bro. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard. And we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after season and one launches. Did, right? but we'll also make it a part of our ongoing discussions with the community. Other game lie. studios also have skill-based matchmaking and have spent decades perfecting it. SBMM in Destiny 2 feels great. 
I am Does able it? to play multiplayer based on connection or skill based matchmaking. Even if I select games based around similar skill, it's not a problem. Even for my 5.36 KD, I'm still unstoppable. At one stage, they even ran out of medals. Yo, so you sure, uh, Color Shame, you don't cheat, right? Is 5KD? Uh, 5.6KD, uh, he said, right? Sheesh, that's like uh, crazy numbers, my G. Like, I don't think that's possible for a homo sapien that's uh, not juicing. I excel in all my games. But with random noobs on my team, I can't win them all. Yeah. They have advantage. Double down. Okay, he proud. Call us him proud. Of, uh... Fantastic work. In before, like ba Batman, Bad Boy Beeman makes a video on you exposing you. Bungie have had decades of experience with multiplayer lobbies. Sledgehammer, please take this on board. Destiny 2 is fun, chaotic, and sometimes very sweaty, depending on what I want to play. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I am a killing machine, and it feels absolutely fantastic. But I do believe Call of Duty can be equally as good, providing the matchmaking Wrong. is addressed. However, the streamers will always find something to complain about. It's what they do best. They are cheating streamers, we all know this. This is the exact reason why I created this channel. Guys, whatever you do, do not watch this video. Because if you do, you're gonna regret. Alright? But if you love regretting, then definitely check out this video. Bruh. And I will see you right there. Alright?